Learning Reinvented isn't just a motto at UOIT, it's a way of life. Professors at the university have ditched the chalkboard and opted for the latest technology available to them. It's beneficial for both student and teacher because it creates an opportunity for the types of activities that in my day weren't, weren't possible. The idea of being able to have notes provided by faculty on students' laptops, uh, the opportunity for students to email faculty, uh, the opportunity for students to hand in papers rather than coming to campus, of course, is one that students really like. But it's really the opportunity to explore new learning and to actually create that in new ways using the software that we provide students at UOIT. So in many respects, technology at UOIT is an ecology in that it's hardware, software, interactivity, engagement, and integration of that across the learning spectrum. I actually think it's a really great way to meet my students in the world that they live. In other words, they use technology every day without even thinking about it. And so in order to get them interested in what I'm doing, I try and use all kinds of technology. Um, and they tend to embrace what they're learning a lot more in that way. As a UOIT graduate and now high school teacher in Toronto, Vernon Key is passing on this style of learning. I haven't written on the chalkboard in like four years, so my writing my writing's really messy right now, but everything's on PowerPoint so they can download it. It's a lot easier for the students. They don't have to worry about taking notes. That kind of process is streamlined. He says the use of sharing information electronically increases students' ability to learn. I think they learn more and they learn at their own pace because a lot of stuff online, if a student's really keen, he can go as fast as he wants. And then if a student's having trouble, they can just ask me one-on-one. -on -one. So I, I give them a lot more help personally. If you want to experience UOIT's learning and teaching style, you can visit the campus on March 3rd for its annual open house. In Oshawa, Mandy Hargrave reporting.